Metro Focus caught up with New York State Education Commissioner John King and New York City Department of Education Deputy Chancellor Shale Paula Kosaransky at WNET's Celebration of Teaching and Learning, where they came to speak to educators from across the country. We asked them about the wisdom of making teacher evaluations public and what New York State can learn from the city's experience. Deputy Chancellor, as we all know, at the end of February, the evaluations of 18,000 teachers in New York City uh, were made public. A lot of the teachers were not pleased by that. Uh, do you think it was a good idea to release those uh, evaluations? There was a freedom of information request that was made by several newspapers. A court case ensued to decide whether that was public information, and the courts decided it was, and so we were required by law to release those. Aside from the uh, decision of the court, in principle, in theory, would you have supported the, uh, the, the our, making our, public of these? When articles? we designed this, it was designed as a, sor a source of support inside the school. We always want this information to be used in context. This, this information by itself doesn't tell you the whole story. It tells you part of the story. And so we have been very clear about that, that when people look at this information, you have to understand that it is not the whole story. It's one piece of information about the teachers, and it's something that may be very useful, but it needs to be seen within a broader context. And Commissioner, finally to you, uh, what is the policy, what's going to be the policy of the state with respect to making public uh, evaluation of, of individual teachers? Well, my own view is that the publication of the data with teacher names was unhelpful. Uh, I think there'll be a conversation in Albany over the next few months about how we move forward. Uh, I think one of the problems is that the publication of that one number, as, as Shale suggests, then causes um, a focus on that number as though it were the entirety of our means of judging teacher performance, and it isn't. We, we're building a multiple measure system in which growth on state tests is 20% of the the evaluation, not 100%. All right, thank you so much.